Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how users can interact between connection um, and, and mark edit. So mark edit includes a plugin. Um, it is called the OCLC connection bib file plugin. You can collect this through the plugin manager. Uh, if you go to the plugin manager, you will find it here. If I download it, um, if you have a current version of mark edit, it will now um, manage that plugin for you so that when it updates, it'll let you know that it's been updated. Um, this is connection. I downloaded some records into a save file, local save files. So here's my local save file. I grabbed a couple of records. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these records into um, Mark Edit. So a couple things about the way um, connection and Mark Edit work. So I'm gonna pop open the task manager. One of the things you're gonna see is Mark Edit here is a 64-bit application, connection is a 32-bit application. This is problematic uh, because if MarkEdit tries to interact with connection through the plugin as a 64-bit application, it will fail. And this is because of um, the, the, uh, the fact that you can't have a 64-bit process interact with the 32-bit process. Um, you just can't work inside those spaces. So what I've done is inside MarkEdit, I've added the ability to be able to restart MarkEdit in 32-bit mode. Essentially what this does, it creates a little bit of a shell around the application. So now it's been configured to run as a 32-bit application. And at this point, I can actually touch connections. So I'll go ahead and redo it. And you can see that we can reload the connection files. So I'm gonna go ahead and select them all and edit these records. And once I get the records into market and I can do a wide range of things with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these records and I'm gonna run the RD A helper on them and process the records. And so we can see that uh, 264s were generated, 300s were generated when appropriate, when necessary. Not all of these were um, coded for RDA. So now they've had three XX fields um, added and when appropriate has changed the uh, 260s. So those have been adjusted. Uh, I can also then run other tools. So I'm going to run the build links tool. So I'm going to go ahead and build links. This will add subfield zeros to all of the appropriate places um, in the records. And so this will use the rules file to find here. And is now going through and checking uh, the records and creating uh, subfield zeros for main entries and for data in 3x, 3xx where appropriate as well as in uh, series and whatnot. So we can take a quick look here. You can see that there is a subfield zero added to this 100. In these 300s, there are um, subfield zeros added, uh, subfield zeros added in these uh, 650s and, the, um, and in the 655s, um, again in the 700, and work ID added here um, for places where there were um, fast headings, fast, the OCLC just adds a control number, mark edit expands it into a URI. Um, so in this case, we have lots of fast headings. All right, so we've done our changes. We wanna push those back to connection. Uh, the way that you do that is you actually use this button here. You highlight over this button, it'll say save edited connection, save edited connection file. Uh, that button will send the data back to connection. Uh, the other option, um, that you have available to you um, is to reopen um, the plugin and click Save Records. Um, my preference has always been to just click on this button. That's why it's there. So I'll go ahead and click that button. You can see that Mark Edit will then um, save the records back to the tool. Uh, records have been saved. And I am now done with Mark Edit. So I close the Mark Edit. I reopen Connection. And if I open up the record um, in connection, you will see that the subfield zeros are not all added. Three XXs, when appropriate, are still there. Um, and all the subfield uh, zeros, as well as the work ID, is uh, added to the record. So MarkEdit has updated the local save file um, and added the information here. And so at this point, the user can um, continue working um, in connection on your local save file. And then when you're finished, um, use the whatever macros you may have in connection um, or just use the functionality that's there to upload these records to um, OCLC 
as edited records or to your local catalog. Um, again, uh, this is one of the ways that um, looking at using plugins in MarkEdit, uh, as well as finding ways to do integrations with um, uh, other various tools that work um, within the, uh, the library space.